Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Friday, happy January 1st, and happy 2021. Who is ready to take on this year? Feed first, we're going in. So let me know what you guys did for New Year's Eve. Normally my husband and I are together for New Year's Eve, but he had to work. He's off uh, this weekend, so we get to hang out this weekend, but let me know if you guys did anything. Did you guys have like a small gathering for New Year's Eve? Um, did you guys actually stay up? Um, my oldest, she knocked out as soon as we got into the room. My youngest, my mom said that she stayed up all the way until 11.59, but she didn't make it exactly till midnight, and then she knocked out. So, yeah. Um, but today we are in front of Publix. We're going to run in, <clears throat> do a couple of deals. So because of Christmas, um, the sales week is like weird. And normally for me, it runs um, Thursday to Wednesday. So Wednesday would be the last day of the sale and Thursday starts a new one. Some people, their sale starts on Wednesday. So it just kind of depends on where you are. But because they were closed on Christmas, um, they're doing the sale up until today. Today is the last day of the sale for this, this current sales week. And then the new one starts tomorrow and that's going to be a short sales week. So that one's going to run from tomorrow until... I think Wednesday, if your sale normally starts on Thursday, or it'll run till Tuesday if your sale starts on Wednesday. So just check with your store to see kind of like what they're doing and how they're handling that. But um, after this week, everything should go back to the way that it's supposed to as far as um, the sales week and the schedule of how things are run. So let's go ahead, run inside. There's not a whole whole lot we're picking up today but I definitely did want to run in and grab a few things I think next week and the week after are going to be better sales weeks but we're still going to run in and grab a few deals for today so the first thing I'm going to pick up is going to be some of the Tazo tea so I like to pick this up for my mom and it's buy one get one free so I'm going to go ahead and pick up two for $3.99 and then I'm going to use this dollar off one digital coupon so we're going to pay $2.99 for two so Publix gave us a nice little freebie. So I'm not even gonna try to pronounce uh, these non-fat probiotic drinks, but they're priced at $3.29. And I, um, oh my gosh, not I bought a Publix. Check your digital app to see if you have the free coupon. So you're gonna pick up one of these, use that coupon when you get to checkout. So just put in your phone number and it's gonna be completely free. Also in the yogurt aisle, make sure you guys look for the Oikos Pro Digital Coupon. They also gave us a free one for this as well, so go ahead and pick up your freebie. All right, you guys, so my rebate for this reset, so we're gonna go ahead and do this again, but this time we're gonna pick up two of the red ones and two of the yellow ones. So the red ones are $5.39, buy one, get one free. And then the yellow ones, they are $5.59, buy one, get one free. But they're two separate rebates. So we're going to go ahead and pick up all four. We're going to get back a total of $8 back. So our final out-of-pocket cost will be $2.98 for all four. So these reset for me on Ibotta, but it did reset down to 75 cents, but that's okay. So I'm gonna use my other Publix account that I use. Go ahead and use that free digital coupon. So check your account to see if you have it. So you're gonna pay nothing out of pocket for this. Submit to Ibotta. If you have the 75 cent rebate like I do, this will be free in a 75 cent money maker. If you don't have the 75 and you have the $3, then this will be a $3 money maker for you. Also check your account for this free one for the two liter ginger ale. So it has to be on the zero sugar, or yeah, the zero sugar. These are not it, so it has to be the zero sugar one, and then you'll get that one for completely free. 
Next thing I'm going to pick up is going to be on these Special K pastries. So they're buy one get one free at $2.90. No coupons that I know of, but I am going to submit my receipt to Ibotta for $0.25 cents on each box for a total of $0.50 cents back. And then when I scanned it, it's also popping up these two any rebates for $0.10. Cents. So you're going to get back a total of $0.70 cents for picking up two boxes. So your final out-of-pocket cost is going to be $2.20. So these are no longer two for 12, unfortunately, but I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this deal anyway because I think this is a really great price for this product. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the Gatorade Super Shakes for $8.49 each. I'm gonna pick up two. And then I'm gonna use the buy one get one free digital coupon. Now, if you hadn't already clipped it to your account, I don't think it's um, available to clip anymore. So hopefully you previously clipped it. So that should take off $8.49. You'll pay $8.49 for two. Submit back to Ibotta for $6 total, three for each. So we're gonna make it $2.49 for two. You guys already know I'm picking this back up. So the Triple Soft Scotties, so they are popping up for two separate rebates. So go ahead and pick up those. They are two for $3. So I'm gonna pick up four of these for $6. We're gonna get back $2.50 back from my bottom. So it's gonna make it $3.50 for four. All right, guys, so we are back from Publix, and this is everything that we picked up. So this turned out to be a really great transaction. The only thing that I didn't show you guys in the store were the um, the Rockstar Energy drinks. So I will go over that when we go over our receipts. I have three receipts to show you guys because I split up my transaction, and I will actually explain to you why that ended up being a really good decision, and the way that I split it up ended up being a good decision as well. So here is our first transaction. I picked up the Rockstar for a dollar fifteen because they're she is because they're two for two twenty nine, and then um, I picked up the Gatorades eight forty nine each. Then I picked up one of the yogurts for three twenty nine, and then one of the Oikos smaller yogurts for a dollar fifty nine. So there are all of my digital coupons: the eight forty nine for the Gatorade, the three twenty nine for the uh, five pack of yogurt. The dollar fifty nine. I see. Oh, hi. The dollar fifty nine for the smaller hi. yogurt, and then there is a dollar fifty digital coupon for the Rockstar. So it actually gives you a little bit of overage since it's only a dollar fifteen. So my subtotal was eight dollars and fourteen cents. And okay, my subtotal was eight dollars and fourteen cents, and then we submitted to Ibotta, and we got back six dollars for the Gatorade, so it made it two dollars and fourteen cents. Here is the second transaction on my um, other account that I use. So I did the yogurts on this one. I picked up the Rockstar again. I did two of their Carbana carpet cleaners. And there are all of my digital coupons, the two for the yogurts and then the one for the Rockstar. So I paid $5.24 for this. And then I did get back $4 when I bought it, so it makes this $1.24. And then here is my last transaction. So in this one, I did the Scotties. I did the Special K uh, bars. I did the other two Carbanas. I did the Tazo tea, the yogurts, the... Uh, the tonic water and then there are all of my digital coupons so on this one I had a subtotal of $16.28 and then I got back 75 cents for the tonic water I got back 250 for the Scotties and then we're going to talk about the Carbana um, issue that we had so the issue that we had here is that when I went to submit my receipt for um, come back this way when I went to submit my receipt for the Carbana, the yellow bottle, that one is on my Ibotta, but the red one disappeared. And I just checked, because I just got home, so I checked my husband's, and he has both of them on his. So what I have to do is I have to submit the yellow one on mine, and then submit the red one on his. So the reason why... Um, it's good that I did it on separate transactions and not one transaction because if I did it on one receipt I wouldn't be able to submit the red ones on my account and the yellow ones on his account and the reason why I broke it up is just because I was using different accounts for the free yogurt and for the um, the rockstar drink so I was gonna do all of the carpet cleaner in like 
one transaction but for whatever reason I just separated and did two in one and two in the other I don't know why I did it that way but I'm I'm glad that I did and it worked out pretty well so let's go over the final numbers and as you guys can see there's already one of these little drinks that is empty because as soon as I got back my kids saw me outside came outside and then told me to open it so obviously they like it and I'm totally okay with that all right you guys so everything here total is $29.66 after all of the coupons so we got back $22.95 from Ibotta and that includes a $5 bonus for my weekend warrior bonus. My bonus was redeemed 10, office, 10 offers get a $5 bonus so I hit that today so I got back the extra $5. So my final out-of-pocket cost was $6.71 for everything here. So I thought that was a really great price. I told you guys that I def I heard you. I told you guys that I try to keep my um, Publix hauls as close to $5 as possible or less. So I think we did pretty good for this transaction. And we definitely got quite a few freebies. So I really enjoyed this transaction. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.